What's happening, everybody? It's the ROB, back with you, the trendy topics, the things that are going on in the news this week. We start with SB 1062. Governor Brewer has now vetoed the bill that would have allowed businesses to discriminate and avoid being sued after. That's great, but the damage has already been done. Once again, Arizona's reputation has been stained. MLK Day in the 80s and 90s, SB 1070 a couple years ago, and now this. The good thing is we still have the Grand Canyon, and we're hoping that that carries us through all this mess. Yay! In the meantime, we are, as a state, becoming the West version of Mississippi. NBC's Chuck Todd said it best that Arizona has a reputation of being the last state to accept social changes. Way to go, lawmakers. Way to go. Up next, Alec Baldwin. So the actor this week said goodbye to public life. Yeah, I know, cue the ah. But along the way, he did say a couple of interesting things. First, he said, the country has become filled with hate. Hate everywhere. And of course, hate leads to outrage, which makes me suffer from outrage fatigue because I'm tired of being mad all the time. But think about it, though. Hate on the news, hate politics, hate for anything you disagree with. It's gotten a little crazy. Baldwin's other point is that so many people judge others, strangers particularly, on their worst day. It's true. It's a good thing we don't do it to our friends because we'd never actually talk to anyone. Sometimes we actually should let things go. And funny, sometimes actors actually can make good points. Way to go, Alec. Up next, the NFL. The manliest of manly leagues, the NFL, could become the language police. There's a proposal in front of the league that would start assessing penalties to players who use the N-word on the field. First offense could cost your team 15 yards. Second offense could result in an ejection. This is a sign the world has officially become too politically correct. The NFL is made up of 70% black players. I'm sure not all of them use the N-word, but many do. So imagine this. The Cardinals are driving down the field at the end of the game. Someone says the N-word. They lose 15 yards and possibly lose the game. Is that really the outcome the NFL wants? A game to be decided by language? Go NFL! Woohoo! I'm Rob Hunter. I gotta get out of here. We'll do it again next week. The trendy topics, the things that are going on in the news. In the meantime, I gotta go protect my neck. Talk to you next week. If you're gonna do it, 50 yard penalty. You have to go back to the other side of the field. You're gonna kick the ball off to you and you have to start again. That's how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna make the game crazy. <laughs>